The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is, 7th chapter, text number 1, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on March 9th, 1975, in London, England. Now here, O son of Pita, Arjuna, how by practicing yoga in full consciousness of me, with mind attached to me, you can know me in full, free from doubt. Sri Bhagavan Uvasa, Maya Sapta Manapatva, Jugam Jinjan Madasaya, Asang Sang Samagrang Mam, Jatha Nasasi Takshino. The Lord, Bhagavan, Bhagavan means the most powerful, almighty, with six opulences. That is Bhagavan. Bhagavan means opulence. <coughs> and bond, this word is used in the sense of possession. Just like generally, we say Bhagavan. We Indians we know Bhagavan means fortunate. This word Bhagva comes from Bhago. Bhago and in relationship with Bhago, the word comes Bhagva. And bonds means one who possesses. Ostathe bhatup, the Sanskrit word, when the meaning is to possess, then one affix is added, which is called bhat, bhagavat. And the first word of the bhagavat sabda is bhagavan. So we are trying to understand Bhagavan, uh, which is explained by Bhagavan Himself. Bhagavan, God. You cannot understand God or Bhagavan by your speculation. Any one of us, our senses are defective. Just like we are very much proud of our eyes to see. Sometimes some rascal says, Can you see? Show me, God. He does not think that how far his eyes are capable to see, but he wants to see God. Uh, our senses are conditioned. So long the electric light is there, we can see. If it is immediately dark, we cannot see. So what is the value of the same? But we are very much proud of seeing. Similarly, we are about defective senses and we accept something which is not fact, that is called illusion, and we commit mistake. Every one of us. Ah. There is no man in the world who can say, I did not commit any mistake in my life. That is not possible. Twain is human, it is said. So then we have got four defects. We commit mistake, we are illusioned, Brahm, Pramad, just like we accept this body as myself. I am this body. Uh, who are you? I am Mr. Such and Such. I am Indian. I am American. I am Englishman. I am white. I am black. I am fat. I am thin. In this way, we give description of our body. But we do not know what I am. This is called illusion. Uh, and commit mistake, we have got experience. 
many times have committed mistake, blunder in our life. So Brahma Pramat Karnapata. Karnapata means Karan means the senses through which we act. Just like we catch up through the hand. This is called Karan. Ah. So Karan, these are imperfect. I am catching with my hand, but if the hand is paralyzed, so long we are not paralyzed, our machine is going nicely, we can catch. Otherwise we cannot catch. This is condition. We can catch under certain condition. So therefore our senses are imperfect. Karuna apotu. Apotu means imperfect. Brahma pramad karuna vadap and another defect is banchana or cheating. I am so much defective, still I want to impress others that I have got full knowledge. How you can have full knowledge here if you are so defective? Just like a diseased man, he cannot say, I am perfect in health. That is not perfect. Similarly, if we are defective in so many ways, and if I want to become teacher or preacher to give you the truth, then how can I give? This is not perfect. So we cannot hear from anyone who is defective. That is not pure knowledge. That is not perfect knowledge. If we hear from some defective who theorize, I think, in my opinion, maybe, perhaps, these are nonsense speaking. So almost everyone, the so-called scientists, philosophers, they simply theorize. I think, who are you? You are thinking like that. You are imperfect. So we cannot accept the theories or the statement of some defective person. Uh, we should hear from the person who is not defective, perfect. Therefore, our process of hearing, uh, of getting knowledge, is from the perfect person. That is called Krishna consciousness. Uh, we are hearing Bhagavad Gita. We are getting knowledge from Bhagavad Gita because Bhagavan Himself speaking. Uh, Therefore, here it is said, although it is said by Krishna, everyone knows that Krishna spoke Bhagavad Gita and Vasudeva recorded it and then put it into the Mahavar, the statement. But here Vasudeva purposely says, one may not misunderstand that this knowledge is perfect. Therefore, he said, Bhagavan Uvasa. Bhagavan Ubhāsa means there is no defect. You can accept it as it is, and you get the full knowledge. This is the meaning of Bhagavan Ubhāsa. Many times he has said, uh, so Bhagavan Ubhāsa, and he is speaking about himself, Bhagavan Krishna uh, coming here, jada jada hi dharmasya grāni bhavati bhārata, Pradatmanam sujami aham paritranayam sadhunam vinasaya se duskita dharma samasthapana thaya juge juge sammabhan. Bhagavan comes for this purpose to let people know what is Bhagavan, not the so called rascal incarnation. Just try to understand what is Bhagavan. If Bhagavan, Bhagavan means the six opulences in full, aishad-yasya, bhīd-yasya, yasya-sa, śrīya, 
ज्ञान वैराग्यस्थ भगवी सरंगना ऐश्वर्य मीन्स वेल्थ रिचेस्ट वन हु इज द ग्रेटेस्ट रिच मैन एवरी वन ऑफ आर देर आर सो मेनी रिच मैन ही आर प्रेजेंट ही आर बट नो बडी कैन से आई एम द रिचेस्ट इन द वर्ल्ड दैट इज नॉट पॉसिबल so one who can say and prove that he is the richest in the world he can be accepted as bhagwan not this rascal chief bhagwan chief bhagwan we don't accept we accept bhagwan ramchandra bhagwan krishna because they did something which is impossible to be done by any human being we are not going to accept chief bhagwan So Bhagwan means who is the richest, who is the most famous, who is most, who is the strongest, who is the most beautiful, who is most wise, and who is most renowned. Uh, just like uh, uh, Krishna, Krishna says that Bhogtaram Jagdhavasam Sarvalu Ko Maheshwar. He is the proprietor of all the lokas. Uh, lokas means where uh, the people are living entities live. So there are so many planets everywhere. There are living entities. Om Bhuv Bhuvasa Tasvabitu Varna. There are Bhuloka, Bhuvarloka, Saraloka. जनलोका महलोका तपोलोका सत्यलोका ब्रह्मलोका सेम फोर्टीन प्लैनेटरी सिस्टम देन डाउन कॉल अतल नितल कलातल पाताल रसातल सो मेनी दिस इज ओनली वन यूनिवर्स देर आर मिलियंस ऑफ यूनिवर्सेस जस प्रभा प्रभवत जगदंड कोटि Koti, we Indians understand, millions. There are millions of universes. The subprabha prabhavatu jagadanna koti, koti su asesa masudhadi vibhuti bhinnam. And in each and every universe, there are millions of planets. And each planet is different from the other. Just like the moon planet. You are going to uh, live there, but you cannot live there because it is. The scientist says 200 degrees below zero the temperature, so it is different atmosphere. Uh, similarly, in the solar, I mean the sun planet, you cannot go there, but Krishna can go there. That is Krishna. That is God. Because Krishna is not like us, neither his body is like us. Ishara Parama Krishna Satchidananda Mitra, and he went to this sun planet that is stated in the Bhagavad Gita, fourth chapter. He says, "Imam Vivasati Jugam Pratma Nahamamayam." Just like here, Bhagavan says, "Maya Satmana Pratha Jugam." This is a yoga. Similarly, this yoga system was spoken to the sun god, Maya Saptamana, and yoga. What is that? Imang Vivasati yoga. Imang yoga. The same thing. As Krishna is speaking to Arjuna, the same thing was spoken to sun god. Imang vivasate, vivasate, and to vivas, vivasha, vivasha, the president of the sun planet is known as vivasha. His name is Vim. Just like we know who is the president of United States or India. Similarly, those who are advanced in knowledge, they know who is the predominating deity or president. Of that planet, that requires knowledge. So, 
Krishna said that I spoke to the sun god, Vibhasa. So we cannot enter into the sun planet. That is not possible. It is so fiery. The Parishad is so high. But Krishna can go. Other is high Krishna went and spoke to the sun god. It is stated. Therefore we are presenting Bhagavad Gita as it is. We do not interpret the meaning that Krishna does this, Krishna that, and all so many nonsense. No. Simple meaning is that if Krishna instructed the sun god, Vimasya, then he went there as he comes here. That is natural conclusion. And because he entered the sun planet, and he did not burn down into ashes. Therefore his body is different. Because if we go, if we enter such high temperature, immediately we are finished. What to say about speaking? The Krishna spoke. These are natural, as it is, conclusion. You cannot interpret. So therefore conclusion is Krishna's body is different from us. One who does not know rascal, he thinks that Krishna is like ours. Krishna, how he can be like our son? If he entered the sun planet and spoke to the president of the sun planet, then his body is different. Therefore Krishna says, Abhajananti mana mūrha manusaim tanuvāsita. Because I look just like a human being, the rascal think of me, I am an ordinary man. Therefore the conclusion is, one who thinks of Krishna as one of us, he is a fool. He is a rascal. Krishna's body is explained in the Shastra, baby. What is that body? Satchitānanda vigraha ishara parama krishna satchitānanda vigraha Ananda Chinmay Rasa Pratibhavitavi Sabhija Evan Nijarupa Tayakalabhi Goloka Evan Yusati Akilatma Bhuta Govinda Mahadi Puritam Tamang Vaja. This has the basic information. So Krishna has body, but not a body like us. That is stated in the Vedas. Apani Pada Javanagrahita. Pashati Achakku. Pashati Achakku. He has no eyes, but he sees. Ah, then what is that saying power? That means he has got a different type of eyes, but he has got his eyes. He is not Niraka, but not Akar like us. His body is Satchidananda Vigra. Sat Chit Ananda. Sat means itana, and Chit means full of knowledge, and Ananda means full of bliss. So his body is made of such qualities, Satchita Ananda Vidya. Then you can compare your body. If we compare, if I think of my body, it is not Sat. Sat means itana, this body will be finished. So it is not sat. It is asat. Ah. Sat means which exists, and asat means which does not exist. Therefore, how you can say Krishna's body and my body is the same? No. Then chit, chit means knowledge, and our body is full of ignorance. Ah. We cannot understand knowledge. We have no knowledge immediately what is beyond this world. If you ask me what is beyond this world, then I will have to ask some of my disciples what is there beyond this world. Therefore, it is not cheap, not full of knowledge. But Krishna knows, He says, Vedāhaṁ samiti tāni. I know everything past, present, and future. Ah. 
when Arjuna inquired, Krishna Arjuna, he is also playing just like Krishna's friend. So he inquired for dissipation, dissipation of the ignorance that, my dear Krishna, you are saying that you spoke this philosophy, Bhagavad Gita, formally to the Sun God without asking him. How did you go? Uh, how did you return? He simply asked that Krishna, I know that you are my contemporary. We are of the same age. And how can I believe that millions and trillions of years ago you spoke to Sun God? Uh, <clears throat> so the answer was that my dear John, at that time, because you are my friend, you are also there, but you have forgotten. I have not forgotten. Therefore, he is full of knowledge. We cannot say uh, what we did in our childhood. We have forgotten. This is one of our qualifications, forgetfulness. But Krishna says that you have forgotten. Because you are living being, your nature is to forget. But because I am the Supreme Lord, I am not forgotten. Therefore, his knowledge is perfect. Ah. And then, ānanda, ānanda means pleasure, blissfulness. He is always, Krishna, while he was present on this planet, Ah, he showed how to dance with the gopis. Ah, he was always full of ānanda. Here we have got Krishna. He is ānanda murti. He is not in nirānanda, without blissfulness. He is always with his consort, Srimati Rādhāna. Ah, and he is playing flute, and Rādhāna is dancing. So this is ānanda. So where is our ānanda? We imitate Krishna, but we are not able to enjoy because we are in this material body. In this way, from Bhagavad-gītā, if we study Bhagavad-gītā nicely, then we can understand what is God. Otherwise we can go on speculating for millions of years and for many, many births. You cannot understand what is God. There are so many societies, theological societies, these theosophical societies. What do they know about God? They do not know. Neither can know. It is not possible. Because they are thinking with their imperfect senses. How you can have the idea of the perfect of the unlimited by your imperfect speculation. That is not possible. Uh, therefore, this has to say, Athapite deva padam buddha jayam prasada leshana grihita evahi janati tattam. Tatta means the absolute truth. You are absolute truth. Who can understand the absolute truth without your mercy? Yes, uh, therefore, Krishna is merciful to Arjuna, and therefore he says, Sri Bhagavan Uvacha, Maya Sattamana Pratha, my dear Arjuna, if you simply uh, concentrate or meditate upon me, Krishna, Maya Sattam, Mai Asattam, Mai means unto me, Krishna. Mai āsatta mana, those who are attached to me, that is perfect yoga. That is yoga. The yogis, you have heard the names of so many yogis, meditation. The meditation is good, but most of them do not know what is meditation. Most of them. How? that they do not meditate upon Krishna. 
Meditation means to fix up one's mind on the Supreme Personality of God. First of all, they do not know who is the Personality of God. But the yoga practice, according to Shastra, is that here it is, maya sakta mana prata yoga. This is yoga. In other Vedic literature, that is also stated the same thing. Dhyanavastita tadgatena manasa pasantinam yogina. Yogi means who meditates. It is the business of the yogis to meditate. But if you do not know upon whom to meditate, then what is the meaning of your yoga? Therefore, I have seen practically in America, there are so many yoga societies. They close their eyes, and I do not know what they are meditating, but I have seen they are snoring. <laughs> and what they will do? <laughs> this is yoga system. So don't be misled by this bluffer, yoga sister. Don't be misled. Here is yoga. Ha, Krishna. Because yoga means to meditate upon the Supreme. Dhyanavastita tad gatina manasa. Mind fully absorbed. And they see Krishna or Narayana. Or the same thing. So, Jangman Mahavarunanda Ruddha Stunanti Vibhai Stabhai. Vidui Sangha Pada Prama Upanishadai Gayanti Jana Sangha Dhyanavastita Tadgatena Manasa Pasyanti Jana Jogina Jasyanta Gana Vidu Sura Sura Gana Deva Yata Svainama. This is Vedic Mantra. So, Yoga means to think of Krishna. That is yoga. So it is also confirmed in the sixth chapter. We are reading seventh chapter. Krishna says, Krishna taught Arjuna how to practice yoga. Then he concluded his teaching on the yoga that yoginam api sarvi sa madhvata antaratmana sadhyavāna bhajati yo māng sami yukta tamo matha. Who is the first class yogi? There are many different types of yogi. But who is the topmost yogi? Yogi nāma pi sarvi sa. Who is that? Madhavata antarātmana. One who is thinking of me always. That is perfect yoga. So that statement that one who is thinking of me always, he is perfect yogi. So that is now being explained. It is the conclusion of the sixth chapter. And in seventh chapter, Krishna explains how you can think of Krishna twenty-four hours. This is meaning. Therefore he says, Maya Saptamana Prat. How you can think of somebody else unless you are very much attached to him? Just like a boy is attached to some girl, or a girl is attached to some, that is natural. So when he becomes too much attached, he always sees things always. Otherwise it is not possible. To, to come to this attachment platform, you have to learn how to love Krishna. Otherwise, how it is possible? Unless you love somebody, how can you think of him twenty-four hours? That is not possible. Ah. So this maya sattva, Krishna is summarily, but the acharyas, they are defined. How we can, we have got attachment. Every one of us does, got this the propensity or the quality of attachment to others. The wife is attached to husband, husband is attached to wife, the son is attached to the father, father is attached to the son, uh, everyone. Uh, that attachment to increase, then to your family, to your community, to your society, to your country, to your nation. The attachment is there. 
You cannot say that I have no attachment for anything. That is not possible. Uh, when sannyasi, sannyasi means soft nasi, one who has given up attachment for this false material world, that is the philosophy of Sankarata. He says, Brahma Sattva Jagana Mithya. Therefore, he is advising that you have got attachment for this material world. This is false. Brahma Sattva Jagan Mithya. He simply explains the negative side. But Brahma Sattva, Brahma, the Supreme, Absolute Truth is truth. And the attachment for that. You cannot give up the attachment spirit, but you have to change the attachment. Ah. That is um, freedom. Ah. We have got so many attachments for this material world. You have to transfer that attachment for Krishna. Therefore Krishna says, Maya Asakta Manapati. He doesn't say that you give up your attachment. How you can give up your attachment? That is not possible. Ah. He says, just transfer the attachment to me. Ah. So all of a sudden, to transfer the attachment to Krishna and give up our all attachment for this material world, ah, that is called renounced order of life. Ah. But Krishna says you do this. But it is not so easy. It is not so easy. Therefore, we have to go to the person, tadvijnana thamsa guru meva abhiyachet. This is the sark, Vedic injunction. That in order to learn that art, how to transfer your attachment to Krishna, you must approach to guru. He will teach you. So this Krishna consciousness movement means that we are teaching people how to give up this material attachment and become attached to Krishna. Attachment cannot be given up. That is not possible. Attachment should be purified. That is what. That is therefore the bhakti definition is given by Narad Muni. Sarvapadhi vinin muktam, tat paratena nirmalam, rishikena rishikesa sevanam bhakti ruchat. Now, our attachment is on account of this designation. What is that designation? I am American, I am Englishman, I am Indian. These are all designations because the soul is neither Indian nor American nor this nor that. Soul is pure, pure spirit soul. These are material designation according to the body. So, if we become purified, sarva upadhi meaning muktam, that is called mukti. Mukti, the definition of mukti means hitya anrakha rupam sarupena vastiti. Because we are staying at the present moment in this material state, we have got so many material attachments. That is, we are staying in a different way. We are living in the bodily concept of life and in relation with this body, we have got so many different attachments. So mukti means when you do not stay, in the bodily concept of life, you stay in your original uh, state of life. That is called mukti. Mukti does not mean that one has to uh, acquire so many hands, so many legs. No. It is the change of consciousness. That is mukti. Just say what John did. He was conscious in the beginning of the fight. He was conscious of his relative, of his family, means bodily. Uh, but when he understood Bhagavad Gita from Krishna, he said 
Yes. God is saying what an antava. In the beginning, he denied to fight. But when he understood Bhagavad Gita, he agreed, yes, I shall fight. Kari Seva Tanamto. I am now full conscious. Uh, Nasto Moho. This attachment, bodily attachment, is now finished. Krishna, it is now finished. Uh, Nasto Moho. Siti Labhya. Because we forgot, I have already said that we are forgetful. This is our another nature. Now, my forgetfulness is gone. Tat prasada by your mercy. You have taught me Bhagavad Gita. So by your mercy, my two things, that bodily attachment and uh, misconception of life, is now gone. Now I know that I am your servant. I am your eternal servant. And it is my duty to carry out your order. Therefore, I agree. Kari se vachanam tama. I shall now execute. You want me to fight? No consideration of my relatives or family. I shall fight with them. This is the conclusion about me. So similarly, if you want actual life, it is a, this is a bomb or mythalize, this material life, means bodily concept of life, that I am this body and this uh, family is mine, and this country is mine, the community is mine, I have got to do for my family, I have got to do this, I have to go. So many. Uh, this is the attachment and this is all false attachment. Uh, therefore, we have to transfer the attachment to Krishna. That is called maya sakta mana prātha. This is yoga system. How to transfer this attachment to attachment to Krishna? This is called bhakti yoga. And this is the first class yoga. You sit down here or stand there. maya sakta mana prātha. This is to be practiced. This yoga should be practiced. How to increase attachment for Krishna? Maya Sattamana Pratha, Yoga Junjan. You have to practice this yoga. How? Madhasraya under me or under my representative. Mat Asraya. Mat means me. And Asraya means taking shelter. Uh, so either, but if you say, where is Krishna? No. Mat Asraya means another thing. One who has taken of myself, that is, devotee, Madhasana. So either you take, that is not possible, because Krishna is not yet present. He is present, but we have no eyes to see. Uh, although he is present here, he is deity, he is present here, but because we have no eyes to see, we are thinking this is made of stone. And some rascal will say that they are going to see some stone because we have no eyes to see. So we have to learn the art how to see Krishna. How to see Krishna. So that practice, Madhasra, if we want to learn this art, we have to take the shelter of the Goswami or the Devotees. Uh, the Rupa Goswami says how this asakti can be increased. He gives formula. Madhasra, Krishna says, either you take shelter of me directly or to a person who has taken shelter of me. That's an electric power, uh, electric uh, house, powerhouse may be long away. But if the electricity is coming through some uh, where, and if you touch immediately, immediately in touch with the powerhouse. So either you touch the powerhouse or a, and where, in signal, who is empowered by the powerhouse, you touch, you get the electricity. This is called parampara system. Madhasa. 
एवं परंपरा प्राप्त हम इमंग राजा सहयोगी दो हाँ जो वनस्त परम दो दिस आल एक्सप्लेन हाँ सो मदास्य एस सुन एस ही बिकॉज कृष्णा इज नॉट विजिबल एट द प्रेजेंट मोमेंट ही इज विजिबल बट वी कैन नॉट सी तो वी टेक आश्रय सेल्टर ऑफ इज डिवोट देवफॉर श्री रूपोगुष्णामे gives his formula how to become attached to krishna the first he says adho shraddha first of all faith in beginning that like you have come very kindly to this temple with some faith that here is the krishna consciousness moment let us go there and see what they are doing how to have inquisitiveness or something that this is little faith Now you have to increase this faith. This is required. Adho sadhya, tato sadhu sangha. How you can increase the faith? Those who are actually engaged in Krishna consciousness in devotional service, associate with them. Don't think that at home you'll be perfect. That is not possible. Uh, at home there is no such facilities. Uh, here you will get the facility. Here the devotee, they are actually following the instruction of Madhasaya. One was taking the shelter. They were rising early in the morning. Uh, at home you think, oh, what is early in the morning? Let me enjoy this. So there is no such facility at home. Therefore, this institution is started. If you are serious about Krishna consciousness. If you are serious about increasing your attachment for Krishna, then you should come and live with the devotees. Sadhu sadhya, tatu sadhu sangha, and tatu bhajanat kriya. But sadhu sangha, now they are chanting, they are uh, having mangala arti, they are decorating the deity, and so many things. Uh, everyone who is associated will see. And then he'll be inclined to be initiated. This is our practical experience. Uh, they will say, "Me, please let me be initiated." Uh, this is called bhajana kriya. Bhajana kriya means if he's serious about bhajana kriya, how to worship? Uh, then anartha nivittisya. Anartha means we have learned so many nonsense things. They can be summarized in four items. Illicit sex, intoxication, gambling, and meat eating. So, on our third nivitish, if you accept bhajana kriya, the activities of devotional service, then these things will be very. Ah, then you have to be purified, as I said, that sarvopadhi vinin muktam, when he is. Free from all these material bad habits, he is mukta. He is liberated. Then adho sadha tato sadhu sangha tato bhajana kya tato anarthane bhi tato nista. Then your faith, beginning of the faith, this faith becomes established. You can know what that movie. Tato nista, tato ruchi. Then you get. Some taste how Krishna consciousness is sweet. Tato nista tato ruchi tatha sakti then attached. Unless you get taste, how you can be attached to Krishna? So these are the processes. So Krishna is saying, summarize. They are explained by the Maya, the Madhasa, those who are devotees. So in this way. We have to increase our attachment for Krishna, and when we increase our attachment for Krishna, then Krishna says, "Asamsam samagrama jathagya sazi tatsudu." Now everyone has got some doubt whether there is God or not, whether God is person or in person, whether there is something. No idea. In any religion, you can ask him. So, what do you know about God? Uh, that he cannot explain. 
because he is not in the platform. How can we understand the God? That is not possible. It is not bad. We are confident. What is God? What is his father's name? What is his name? What is his address? Everything. 